Welcome back to the garage again. I've got a new battery. This is uh, Lee Time, or Lie Time, depending on, I guess, where you're from. This is a 24 volt, 25 amp hour uh, jar. And I think it will do really well with my 24 volt uh, UPS system. Let's get it out of the box and uh, see, see what we got here. So I, I have opened it, but I haven't really done anything else here. It comes with a, uh, wow, that is a nice owner's manual packet. Foam, in case you're wondering where the bolts are, uh, they are here in the lid. We've got a bag. Ugh. More foam in the bottom. Yeah, this is definitely well protected. Let me get some of that out of the way. So here is our jar, and that is remarkably light. So this is the same uh, effective capacity as, um, well, it's the same voltage as two of the other batteries that I tested, but it's half, half the total amp hours. So it's uh, 640 watt hours, I believe, in total, uh, but this is 24 volts. This is eight cell. Uh, lithium phosphate and it's got the terminal protectors on it so let me I've got my power supply here let me show you how I uh, deal with one of these guys so let's see we've got some nuts and bolts in the package lock nut washer washer So I typically will use my power supply, my lab power supply here to charge lithium phosphate cells. It just, it's, it's kind of the universal charger, it works really well. So I'm going to uh, turn this on and see what the voltage is set to, 14.3 volts. So we want a little more than that. This is, uh, should be 28, 28.8, actually, yeah, they have it right on the top, 28.8 plus or minus uh, 0.4. So I'm going to char, I'm going to target just 28 even. That's like uh, 3.45 volts per cell, which is plenty for uh, starting uh, like balance and equalize. Let me turn the power supply off via the switch in the back. See the voltage bleeds down. I'm going to short the leads and I'm going to set the current to what I want. So the current is currently half an amp. That should suffice nicely. So I'm just going to slap that on the terminals. And we are charging. Looks like we are at uh, 26.6 volts out of the package, which is pretty charged and I will turn the amps up so there we are we're at uh, almost 10 amps which is what this power supply will do which I think I can squeeze a little more out of it there we go both knobs both the coarse and the fine now we're at 10 amps which is what it's rated for I will come back in a bit once this is full and I will have everything rigged up here to do uh, to hook it up to my UPS system. Okay, and we're back. Uh, my power supply got it up to 28 volts. Let's see if I can uh, show that here. 27.96 on the meter. So we're going to hook it up. I've got my uh, 1000 VA. Uh, ancient APC true sine wave smart UPS here this is again uh, if you didn't see it in any, any other video this is a 24 volt native UPS it is designed for expansion expandable batteries it natively has two 17 amp hour uh, AGM batteries in it and it has a port on the back where you can connect it to a couple hundred amp hours I think of, uh, of expansion batteries uh, this uh, 25 amp hour is basically one and a half times the, the internal battery. And we're going to see what it does. I think this will be a wonderful pairing because you don't have to worry about 
uh, two jars in series. You've got one BMS to handle the entire uh, 24 volt uh, range. So we're going to get this guy hooked up here. I, I need some longer leads eventually for this here. So let's see here. Now I do have, uh, these are ring terminals. They don't quite fit the uh, larger studs on here, so I'm just kind of capturing the side of the ring. Not ideal, but this is, uh, this is for testing. For long term, I would put uh, bigger rings on here. And we just woke up the UPS. <laughs> Electronics. Started the capacitors up in there. So let's see if we can uh, get this going here. I will have to plug this in, I have found out. It will not cold start. I think it's only my larger model that will cold start. It's going to power up, do a self-test. There it's doing its little battery test. And we're online. Let's see what uh, what we show here. Is it is it charging? Is it discharging? Well, it'll be charging, but let me zero the clamp. Let's see if I can get get this on here. We are charging the battery at 0.3 amps. What do we have for voltage? This UPS will float at 27 and a half volts which is very nice so we're at 2771 so the battery is actually coasting down a little bit from where i had it on the power supply which is absolutely fine so i've got my little power meter here i've got my all-purpose load bank 500 watt We'll get that going. And we'll unplug the UPS so it goes on battery and starts, starts our discharge. So my goal with this test is to, uh, of course, run that, that battery through its entire voltage range but also see uh, how compatible it is with this UPS. Will it run all the way flat and then when I plug the UPS in, will, will it power up and uh, start charging and you know, behave like a battery, battery should? Um, also, I'd like to add, while I was um, charging, charging this lead time jar with uh, my power supply, I, I had an uh, opportunity to go through the, the literature that came with it. There is a very nice uh, product manual here, multiple pages, color... They list uh, all sorts of uh, charging, discharge, um, cut-in recovery voltages, cut-out voltages, um, capacity, state of charge, information, a whole lot of these connection diagrams. This is a very nicely laid out uh, manual. Uh, there's a little quick start guide, shows you how to where to put the uh, the bolts and stuff a nice little product lineup brochure and even a a page of stickers that's uh that's nice all right so this is running uh we will uh, i'll just cut it off and we'll come back uh when when everything is empty okay and we are back the ups shut off the heater shut off i uh turned off the switch there Let's see if, uh, if this guy is still awake. Put my meter on volts here. And it falls down. Okay, volts. We have 26.14 resting volts. So it is, uh, we did not trip the undervolt protection on this. So the BMS is alive. So when I connect the UPS back to wall power, it should start charging. Let's see what we get. 
Yep, UPS fired up. It's going to do its self test. Let me switch to amps here and zero it while the power meter is booting up. And we are currently charging, I don't know if I can angle this. We are charging at 10.6 amps. So that is completely uninterrupted. I did nothing. I pushed no buttons. All I did was unplug it from the wall, let it run down, and then plug it back in. So this is a perfect match with this UPS system. And we delivered uh, 400 watt hours, uh, 0.3996 kilowatt hours. So uh, 400 watt hours out of a total of uh, 640 available from the battery. Uh, that is consistent with the loss I've seen uh, from this UPS system. So uh, that, that is a pretty good result. I am, I am very pleased with this battery. Um, I think with this UPS, I, I might personally like to have a little bit more, maybe the 50 amp hour version. But uh, this is a great match. Uh, Lightime batteries. I like them. I'll come back when this is full. Okay, and we're back. The UPS says it's fully charged. I plugged it into the watt meter here so we could verify. It is currently drawing uh, 18, 19, 20 watts. That's like its usual standby uh, current load. Uh, hopefully the mic dis disruptions have stopped. This thing generates a lot of RF when it's, uh, when it's charging and when it's running on, on battery. Uh, this is kind of before all the... Uh, uh, RF emission stuff became a, a big deal on hardware. Let's see what uh, what we're doing for voltage here. If I can reach 27.65, so that's like 3.43, uh, 3.5 per cell uh, without doing the divide by 8 math in my head uh, too accurately at the moment. So that's, uh, that's fantastic. Uh, this light time cell, I like it. It's got a good BMS. It works with this old hardware. Of course, it works with all the new stuff. Uh, light time did say if I wanted to tear this thing apart and show you the guts of it, I was more than welcome to. Um, I've done some searching on the tubes and those videos exist. And I like this thing, so I don't really want to destroy it just, just for content. Thanks for watching.